Hey guys, <clears throat> I just got back in from uh, Dalton, Georgia a couple hours ago and I want to put this video out. Uh, kind of talk to you about some things I learned when I was there. And I want to give a shout out to the guys who come up and talk to me this, la this last weekend. Uh, I appreciate, you know, that's what makes it worth doing all these videos and doing all these reviews and talking to people. Is that I'm helping people either with nutrition, working out, or even with picking out softball bats. Now what I want to do this year and I'm going to do it in the next month is I'm going to take it to a next level. Um, I don't know if I can do it with a TPS because I already started the review on the TPS, but what I'm going to do, and I had some bats tested this last weekend, uh, me, Bobby Gilbert, and Bobby Gilbert actually came up with this and kind of, I've been thinking about it for a while, but he kind of lit a fire under me talking about this. And he asked me, why don't I test the bats, uh, compression test the bats that I actually uh, do reviews on? And that's a good idea, guys. Um, I actually, I'm going to fix this here in a minute while I stop. Um, what I plan on doing, and I talked to Bobby about this, and we both, uh, we both thought it was a pretty good idea, was um, what I'm going to start doing is I am going to go down and I'm going to get me a compression tester. Uh, I learned some things uh, this last weekend on how they work. Uh, we had some bats tested and I'm gonna buy a compression tester I'm gonna test the bats that I'm doing reviews on uh, right before we start hitting them like when you take the wrapper off and see what kind of compression we can get on them and then I'm gonna do probably 200 swings see what kind of compression might do 100 swings see what kind of compression I get on it maybe 200 300 all out through the review and I'll tell you guys all the way till we get like six seven hundred swings on them and then compression test them then I think this is this will be badass in the future. Uh, that way, we're doing two different things here. Uh, we're going to give SPA, and maybe whenever SSUSA gets off their ass and starts testing bats, uh, a number. With all the bats that I'm testing, and in the future, they can actually go by that number. Um, or maybe not. But mainly, what I want to do it for you guys, uh, because I know a lot of you guys uh, don't like a bat that's too soft for reasons that the bat speed's too high i mean i don't that that's going to be a totally separate video and um a lot of guys like a little bit more stiffer barrel a lot of you younger kids like the stiffer more barrel. the kids i'm talking about the 40 year olds better come up and play in senior ball and i think this will help you guys picking a, a bat not just listen to the reviews on what i get off it because a lot of you guys think well he has a different swing you know so bats can perform different for him um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to buy a tester a compression tester and I'm going to start compression every one of my uh, on every one of my re reviews starting here on out. I don't know if I can do the TPS because I don't have a brand new one. So uh, on the Hyper Z. So after the Hyper Z, uh, they have the Adidas coming out with a 12 inch barrel. I looked at that bat this weekend. That bat actually feels pretty good. A lot of you guys are asking me how did it feel. It feels very good actually. I tried getting one. I could not snake one from Lee. Uh, he's taking them to California, then to, the, to uh, uh, Denver. Uh, they have the, uh, if you guys seen, I posted on Facebook, was the Dudley. Not a big fan with the 14-inch, just not. I'm, I'm a short barrel guy. Uh, even if, I'll go, I'll swing a 13-inch if I have to, but it, uh, I, I usually swing a 12-inch. Uh, not a big fan with a big barrel, like a fast pitch bat. But it does feel pretty good. It was a 28 ounce. Uh, so those bats are supposed to be really good. But then again, what I hear from people is not really when I get out and start testing them what they're going to be like but the main thing I want to put this video out there for you guys is I'm going to buy a compression tester I'm going to try to buy a new one or, or, or close to new one they are expensive so I'm going to scrape up the money and I think this will help going forward in my reviews because I'm going to start off at the beginning compression test them 100 swings 200 swings and basically all through my review when I do my final review all through my review I'm going to tell you what the compression is on this bat and I'm going to try to get as many swings six maybe a thousand i'll get one that has a thousand swings i actually do a separate video on that and do a re, or, uh, maybe do a, a compression test on a thousand swing let's say an, an adidas 12 inch two piece um that's the bat right now that uh they had at dalton so um what i'm really so what i'm gonna do is um maybe do a separate video on that whenever i get a thousand swings and let you know what the co compression is with a thousand i'll try to do it before i break them you know if i can you know a lot of times i can i know when a bat's fixing to break 
how to do a compression test on that. But basically, this is going to make my channel a lot better because it's going to give you guys a lot more information because I am testing these bats and not testing them. I'm doing a review on them. Uh, a lot of people, uh, I need to quit putting that out there because I'm not testing them. I'm actually doing reviews on them. Um, and uh, make the decision maybe for a few of you guys a lot more easier. Thanks, guys.